Okay, um, he's he's putting his beet, the two pound uh, chunk of pork, into that mixture, and he's going to cover it really good. And the remaining what that he doesn't get on there, he will pour into or spoon into, whichever it happens to be, to into that into that plastic bag. So that rest of that will marinate into the pork. Can you do it by yourself or do you need some help? Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, he tried, he, what he did is he put the sugar side already down on the on the bottom side in that plastic bag. He laid it crossways of the, of the bag. So when he lays it flat in the refrigerator to marinate for five days, it will cover the whole thing instead of being just at one end or whatever. That way they get the same amount. So, <coughs> excuse me. Now he's uh, going to go ahead and spoon the rest of that into the bag. I'll bring you back when he gets it all in. Okay, we're back as we've got all that that was in the bowl in on top of that piece of uh, pork. He's going to, and that's what it looks like. It's real thick, real gooey and he's he's going to wipe it off rinse it off make sure there's no leaks in the bag <clears throat> so that he can seal it up and I gotta move because his arms in the way so hang on oops uh, I'm still <laughs> sorry I you went for a ride He's making sure that he um, gets all the sugar and everything out of that the Ziploc part, so that it'll it will um, it'll seal right. Good old paper towel, you know it works pretty good when it comes to wiping things out. I don't know. Hang on a minute. I don't know why my camera keeps dipping. There you go. Keep moving around. Do you feel like you were on a roller coaster? <laughs> okay, let me back up a little bit now that he's got his arms out of the way. And here we go again. Hang on. There you go. Ziploc that. And then he kind of mushes it around work make sure all the end pieces see on that end right there it doesn't have any any mix so he's gonna just kind of work it around make sure it gets all covered because that's where your flavor of your Canadian bacon is, is right there now when, once he's done with that We'll lay it off to the side, but we'll put take it over and put it in one of the extra refrigerators that we have, and it will sit there for five days. And each day it'll be turned so that whatever's on one side will get onto the other side by when you turn it. I'm not going to video the next two uh, that he's doing because it's basically the same. For a two pounds, is three quarters of an ounce of tender quick for the three pound it's an ounce for the two and a half pound is um seven eighths of tender quick mix the end of whatever amount of sugar and the maple syrup to make a, that thick paste that's all there is to it at this point so um when we, in five days i'll be back and show you what the outcome is of that and um, then we'll go proceed from there because uh, after the fifth day uh, we can start smoking it and putting the heat to it to um, to cook it then it has to have a one day rest in a, in a refrigerator and then you can slice it and package it thereafter so this is the first part of this series on how to make Canadian bacon 
And the recipe came from Jim Ryan out of Texas.